Hey everyone, it's Tracy. So um, after that last page that I had done uh, that was so busy and you know it took a while to put it together, I thought well I'm going to go ahead and do this as a um, real-time uh, video and just uh, and I've already pre-cut everything so that should help and I'm using a Friday freebie sketch by Scrapbook Generations. Um, I don't want to show anything that I've had to pay, you know, for a sketch, but um, I know that this was free and you can go to their website and uh, download it just like I did. So th uh, they always give you the dimensions and like where to place it and it tells you, you know, like the these all say small pattern. Um, it says to put a stripe, but I'm not doing a stripe. I have so much here. There is just no way. Uh, so uh, so there's eight strips and they're each one by ten so I went ahead and cut eight of them and then there's some two inch circles that I cut the large stars I've cut uh, just one of the big ones in some medium size one and some smaller stars this smaller star uh, strips are about an inch from the left side and an inch from the bottom so that is um, where I'm going to start. Now this this line right here is, uh, a, you know, is a suggested stitching line. What I'll do is I'll put it all together, and when I am done, um, I may do the stitching. I may not, uh, but uh, whatever the photo is I put on the Facebook group is will be my final layout. All right. So I'm going to try to leave this here so you can see it. And I'm going to show you kind of how I put this together. I like putting my ruler here. This is a ruler by Westcott. I love it that it's clear or not clear, but it's, you know, it's pretty it's pretty clear. And I can tell exactly where 1 inch is and then where the 1 inch is here. So I already know that this is the pattern that I want to do. And it doesn't tell you like how far apart the strips are. So I will just kind of wing it. And I just use my ATG gun. I, you know, what I love about this ATG is you can always lift it up and move your um, paper uh, you know if it's not exactly where you want it. Okay, I know it looks like a hot mess doesn't it. Well, you know what I normally do, um, and I'll just full disclosure here, what I normally do is the first weekend of the month is I go ahead and just make all the pages for the full month. And uh, so th I've been scrapbooking uh, all day so far, so which is awesome. Okay, just kind of get these out of the way. I don't want two pinks next to each other, and there's quite a few pinks, so this is the pattern that I'm trying to go for. And the only one that I repeated is this one that I am um, adhering right here. It's because I didn't have um, eight separate, uh, you know, if I still had more of that mustard color, I would have added that, but I didn't have enough. And I didn't have very much of it to start with, so it was sad. Okay. And I'm just gluing. I'm hoping that they're straight. They're looking pretty good. Yep, they look good. You know, if I could just do like this. And go like that. It depends on how meticulous you are. You know, I certainly don't want to get too crazy with it, but uh, I already know that one's crooked. Ugh. There we go. There's that. 
some of these papers I haven't even cut into, which was like, oof, but you know what? Uh, I know we've heard it a lot from a lot of other people is I have so much paper it's okay if I cut into a full 12 by 12 and I got it out to use for this kit anyway and all of the pages um, all of the pages I'm doing for this month are scrapbook generation sketches um, and the the one that I have selected for the last Monday of the month is also a free one so you'll be able to see that the only one that you weren't able to see was the one that I did for last for week number uh, two so I do uh, I was trying to find sketches that worked with the photos that I have and that's another thing I have plenty of photos I have plenty of photos and um, I know I heard somebody mention about, um, I think it was Kathy. She said, um, she was talking about, you know, like, I don't have any, you know, other people may say, well, I don't have any kids, I can't scrapbook. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, um, a lot of people do their pets and I do a lot of pets. Yeah, because the last one, the first one was of my daughter's cat, Josie. Uh, the second one was with her dog, Bailey. And this one is with my big boy. This is Liddell. He, I don't get very many pictures of him. And um, I know I have two black cats, and you're probably thinking, how do you tell them apart? Yeah, you know, like twins. You know, you, you can tell them apart. Okay, so... The next step is, I'm going to put the circles. Now, do I want to put, if I want to mat these, that's the question. Do I want to mat them? If I do, it should probably be white. Probably not black. There's plenty of black on that photo. Here, let me look. Let me see, if I did this, how does that look? It gives it a really nice clean edge, so I think that's what I will do. Um, I'm just trying to find my smaller, oh, my smaller trimmer. So my photos are, I'm gonna say four by four. I don't know exactly, you know, they come out of the printer. <laughs> So I'm going to do four and a quarter, four and a quarter for my mats. That is some thick cardstock. All right. Okay. So Liddell is uh, my oldest cat. He's 10 years old and he was given to my youngest daughter. It was a gift. Mm, we already had like a slew of cats at the time. But he has managed to survive all the other cats. Um, he is the one that I brought from California. He actually he, yeah, we got him in California, and he he gets car sick, bless his heart. So he didn't do so good on the the trip here, but he's here now. He's not going anywhere. Okay, so a circle to go here for journaling, which is probably going to be some sort of embellishment. And then she has like, um, this one's kind of tucked in, this circle is, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And then this, actually she had this here. This is a Debbie Sanders sketch. So, so this went here and, and then another one here. This is from that boat paper and I just, was able to get some stars out from the boat, you know, between the boats. 
kind of cool. And I'm, I'm being very literal here um, with the placement. And, and then this one is here. Oh, I can see why that's maybe the way it is. I think I may fix that. I may trim that. It kind of looks like a, a pentagram, and I don't want that. And then here, should I do the pink, or should I should probably do... So I have some stars left over. Okay, so let me go ahead and trim that. It, it, it was just the, the uh, circle that was trimmed. Yeah, she just trimmed it just a little bit, just like that. And let me just glue that down. So I have to say, um, by the time this comes up, it will be um, towards the end of August. And I am like, hallelujah, I hate summer. I hate it so bad. I'm so glad that summer's almost over. Um, now, I don't know when kids are going back to school. And I, you know what, this is, you teachers, I just totally admire you. You, um... Uh, you know, I, I know that it's a tough decision whether to teach and this whole COVID stuff, you know, do people, um, you know, how to keep yourself st safe. I, I, I feel your pain because I tell you what, I've been doing it since March um, as a nurse. So uh, we do wear protection. We do look for signs and symptoms we every day we have to um, uh, turn in uh, our temperature and if we're having any respiratory problems so yeah there's some accountability and you know we also ask our families if anyone's having any signs or symptoms and if they are either we do a, uh, a visit you know a telecom teleconference or we um, we have PPE that we wear you know like an N95 so yep I, I totally understand they are hard to breathe in that's for sure no doubt and I I feel for my friends who are um, that work in the hospital oh my goodness gracious I feel so uh, fortunate, you know, that at least I can take my mask off and I just wear a surgical mask um, when I get in the car. So yeah, I'm only with my patients oh, an hour or so and then I get in my car and go to the next patient. So um, yeah, I feel fortunate that I get to do that. So um, yeah, those that work in COVID units that they have their N95s that they have to wear all day long really does the number on your skin on your face because you've got to make sure that there's good seal yeah it's a it definitely you can get I don't know what what do they call it COVID face or it's the N95 face actually okay so just gluing all this down and kind of jibber jabbering and and you know, if you guys don't like these uh, these kind of videos where there's um, you know a lot of talking, I have other videos that I usually do voiceovers with. So feel free to just pass along on this one, or skip to the end, or I don't know what do you want. What you just do you. You do whatever you want to do, and. Uh, um, and to be honest with you, I haven't had anybody say anything negative to me um, ever 
about my videos being uh, too long because well they probably will get a response back if they did you know like we'll just move along you know and, and I think that there's enough of us that have had comments like that that I think for the most part people that watch uh, scrapbooking videos you know if if you don't like it then then move on you know it's okay we, we all have said the same thing okay all right so I'm not trying to be mean but I'm just, let's be real all right so so what I was gonna say about um, the embellishments because the background is so busy I tried to do it in solids so at least maybe you can see them it's still pretty busy now this is um, this was a super cute uh, collection this pick-me-up collection I had no idea how busy it was and I tried to have some solids in this as well as some patterns but oh my goodness so I guess I I don't know all right so I'm done with my rulers and now let's look at some embellishments so I was gonna say let me um, let me go ahead and put the title uh, it I want to say something about snuggling because he's my snuggle bunny so let me see if I can even get anything on here he is my little snuggle bunny he's um, you know like most cats he he only comes when he wants to come and of course you know when he wants to come the most is when I'm right here scrapbooking in fact um, today he has he's come in here and um, has meowed at me that he was telling me that he wants in my lap and I said no <laughs> oh I don't think I'm gonna have enough room I think I'm gonna have to um, yeah I'm gonna have to do something I'm gonna have to put something over here so you'll be able to see that Cause I don't think can you see it is that even still enough room maybe I need to put it here I think in the um, here let me look in this uh, are some oops, there's some bigger pieces that I could use I think anyway they need to be white I thought there was like a um, well there's this we could do this and then this one down below <sighs> okay let's see how far I need to go how about if I start do you ever do that do you ever start from the the last letter of the word and work your way back <sighs> okay G Okay, that looks good. Alrighty. I know that looks kind of funny with that G kind of hanging off like that. 
All right, I'm just going to put some glue right in the middle. That way if I need to tuck something underneath, I can. Now, more than likely, I'm going to go back and glue each one of those letters, but I'm not going to do it right now because, um, you know, I'm trying to hurry along. And how about this one? Snuggle. can even. I guess I should just probably take this out. <laughs> okay, snuggle. Let me do the Y up. Does that look funny? The two colors. Um, but it kind of matches, well it does, it matches the uh, well, at least it coordinates the little frames that they're going into. And then I need a lowercase u, which could also be an n, but I'm going to use the u. Awesome! that. Oh, I am loving it. Yeah, I cut out these little frames, gosh, probably when I got the collection. That's been a couple years ago. Been a couple years ago. I think it's even since I've been doing um, YouTube videos. Okay, now let's look at any other little fun things that I can put here. Something on the solid side. That's a little. I like that. That that is stain. That's going to go ahead and stay just because I, th I felt it needed a little something. Um, I know you can't see what I'm looking at. Yep, see look, I need to glue those down. But I won't bore you to tears over that. So let me, let me look. I don't want anything too big. And, um, you make me feel happy. Um, where would I put that? Down here? Here? I don't know if anywhere. There is another heart, laughter. Anyway, so Liddell, he only comes out in the morning, of course, when I'm, you know, I get up early to study, and that's usually where he, when he wants his attention, or um, at night, um, but to be honest with you, when at night he likes to go outside, he is like the typical tomcat. He wants to go outside every night. How about here? Does it need something? Nope. Doesn't work. Oh, there's two of them. Remember how I had two? You know what I did with the other one? I just put the uh, vellum, the, the, the vellum with the words on it. I just put that in the other little thing, <laughs> whatever it's called. Oh, I, you know, it's, that's just too busy. Here's another one, you make me happy. I'm just not finding anything. Ha ha, doesn't really go.
Let's see. Oh, how about this one? You're my favorite pick-me-up. Which is true. He really is a sweet boy. He is. And that's what I call him. Call him my sweet boy. He knows. He starts purring. He's so happy. Love it. How about that one instead? There's another pink one. Oh, here's a Friday night fun. No. All right, we are done looking through that. So I got three things out of that. And I know I have some, I have some, um, how about, anything from here? No, I have a mess. That's what I get for scrapping all day. I don't really clean up as I go. Um, okay, so for this one, so this has stars. The other one had hearts. So I think with this one, we can put a yellow heart. There's some yellow up here and maybe yellow over here. That is a bright yellow. Do these stick? Do they stay? I guess is really the question. Oh, what other color? I think I'm done. Because you know I don't like these. I don't like it. Um, okay. How about anything here? Don't see anything. There's not a whole lot left. I think I am done. I think I am done. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and glue all this down, and I'm going to call this good um, the stitching. Will I do stitching? They have stitching here. You know, I don't think so. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I'll take a photo of it, and I'll put, put it in the Facebook group. Um, and make sure you check out the other ladies that are part of the um, Mini Kit Monday. Man, I didn't realize my camera was crooked this whole time. I am so sorry. <laughs> now I straighten you up. Um, anyway, that is it. And uh, yeah, so there's Becky and Kathy, Shannon, Daisy, and Dolly. And I'll have links to their channels down below. Thanks for joining me, guys. And I will see you next time. There is one more uh, week. Uh, in August, and I have one more layout to show you. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.